So we have just been swallowed by an elephant herd. We have them everywhere around us. It is absolutely incredible. And there are the cutest little babies that are everywhere. There's this tiny little one that came to check us out. It came right to the front of the vehicle and gave a little sniff around. And it's got quite a personality. Look at the little ears coming out. So it's making itself bigger and now it's charging at us to try and intimidate us a little bit. Which is exactly what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Isn't it amazingly cute? Baby elephants have got to be one of my favorite things. They are so adorable. Ooh, negotiating a fallen over tree is not as easy as it looks. Now, I was saying earlier that we have a very distinctive female and you can see her sitting right in front of me here. So there, look at her tusk. Look at how her tusk grows backwards. So very different to any of the other elephants. And it's always an easy way to identify this herd is through this tusk that tends to grow the wrong direction. Now it's not going to affect her in any way. You can see she's a healthy animal. Oh, we're being investigated by another elephant. So there we go. This is a little young male that's coming to say hello and coming to see what we're doing. So they're quite curious, the young elephants. They like to come and see who we are and why we're in the middle of the herd and whether or not we're a threat but you can see we're not too much of a threat they're just curious and as long as we sit still and quietly we won't have too many problems they'll be fairly relaxed around us and as long as the adults are relaxed the young ones won't give us too much of a problem and you can see this female she's just sniffing us just to see what we are but she's not too concerned about us being here at this stage Isn't it incredible just to be in amongst them all? I can, can't describe the feeling that you get when you sit amongst them and there's all these bits of movement around you and there's feeding and there's trunks and ears and it is quite something to be a part of this. So I'm just going to get out the way, sorry guys. It's a little bit difficult when they're right here Got to do a bit of yoga to get out of the way of the camera a little bit. But look at the long eyelashes there. You can see that how elephants have massively long eyelashes. And that's just to protect the eyes from all the dust. When they're throwing mud and dust all over themselves, they sometimes get a bit of dust into the eyes. And so that just helps to keep the eye nice and clean and free of dirt. That elephant is standing not even two meters from where I am. And it's quite something to see how relaxed they are. If an elephant was very upset with our presence, it wouldn't have come anywhere near us. They ultimately have decided on their own accord to approach where we are. We sit quite far away from them and they've decided that we're not something to worry about and have come closer to see. Now that coupled with the fact that they're feeding means that we don't have to worry too much. An elephant that is upset will stop feeding and will be ears out, head up, raised and it will take a very aggressive posture with you. When they're sitting like this and feeding and their legs are resting then they are perfectly happy and they are not too concerned with what's going on around them. So we are perfectly safe in amongst this herd. It's really nothing to worry about at this stage. The only thing that could potentially make a little bit of a problem would be a, would be if a big male came in and chased them but it seems all is good for now Look here, maybe we're going to get a little bit of playing look at that so typical young boys having a little bit of a play time and Ah, so s some of the viewers say that this female with the backward facing tusk is known as Fang. Well, I suppose that's a very good name for her. It does look like a Fang protruding. Now you can see the big bull coming down the road now. So he's done a whole big loop through this entire herd and is now coming straight down the road towards us. So we'll just keep an eye on him. Hopefully he's going to turn off and he has, which is great, because if we're in his way and he feels like we're blocking his route to the females, he could be a bit of a handful, but he's turned off and so all is okay at this stage. Now, I 
just want to let one of the elephants that's really close to us move past us before I turn around because most of the elephants are at that little mud wallow that we were at earlier. They've gone and had a little drink and spray. So now that that one is moving off I can turn around. So Robin, you want to know how we can tell the difference between female and male elephants. Well, Fang is just backing out here, so I'm just going to see where she wants to go. But if you look at her, you'll notice that she has quite an angular forehead. So she has a very, very pointed forehead, which the females will have, whereas the males tend to get a little bit more of a rounded forehead. Also, with the females, they tend to have very long, narrow tusks with not too much in the way of thickness, whereas the males tend to get these very thick, broad tusks as they go. Um, also, the females will have a slightly longer distance between their front and back legs, and the reason why is their spine is a little bit more elongated to be able to allow for um, the calf that they're going to have to be able to fit. So the males is a slightly shorter distance between back and front legs. So I just want to try to see if I can go back because all these elephants are having a royal game in the mud wallow here. So I'm going to just try to see if I can edge my way back. But it seems like we're all going to disappear now. Unfortunately, I will try and reposition a little bit, but a male has also approached the mud wallow, so that's why everybody is scattering around and is moving off slightly. Now, you can see the male here is busy smelling this young female. Now, she's really, really small, so she's not going to be enjoying this attention from these males. I would imagine that this is probably the first time that she's coming into an Easter cycle. She's probably about that age, she's 11 or so around there, and that's why she's getting so much attention from the boys. You can see two different males are standing over her, the big male on the left and then the smaller one on the right, and both of them are scenting her. Your elephants, you want to know how often elephant cows come into estrus? Well, it depends on how they do with their calf. Um, if they have a calf that grows up to make it through the baby phase, then you'll find that it will probably be about every three and a half to four years um, between estrus cycles. Oh, there's a big game going on. Craig, let me try and reposition you slightly. Sorry, your elephants, I'll answer the rest of your question now. It's just these boys are having such a nice game. I'm going to try to see if I can get rid of the bar from the roof that's across the frame. Sorry, Craig, just hold on. Um, so yeah, it's about every three to four years um, between carvings um, if their calf makes it. Obviously if the calf doesn't make it and it dies, then they'll come into estrus fairly soon afterwards, within a few weeks, to be able to then mate again. But you can see water is playtime. You can see lots of pushing and shoving from the young males. There's lots of greetings. You see that little one putting its trunk in the other one's mouth. That's a way that they'll greet one another and just check who it is. I wouldn't be surprised those two are siblings. It's an older brother and it's younger sibling that are together there. But look, they're busy pushing up a little bit of mud. I wonder what he's doing there. He was blowing bubbles. It's like a kid in a bathtub blowing bubbles and just playing around for the sake of doing it. Oh, and we're going to sit down now as well. That does not look comfortable at all. <laughs> It's amazing. I love it when they start playing like this. It's my favorite thing to watch. Oh, look at this. Isn't this amazing? And look at the two in the back there. They're having a little push around now. And the little one, now that the other one is on his knees, is also getting into the act and pushing and shoving. Size is now no longer an issue. You can actually hear the ivory hitting each other. 
almost sounds like two pieces of wood being hit together. So that's how males will often break their tusks, is playing around like this, or if they're actually competing for a female, then the fight becomes a lot more serious, and those tusks clash into one, of each, one another, and often will then chip and break from that. Isn't this incredible? Like I say, I was wishing for a really good elephant sighting, and I have been absolutely spoiled this morning having these elephants all around us and now playing in the mud it's exactly what we were hoping they would do as well now you can see why they don't like to drink this water that elephant there just dropped a few balls of dung in the water itself and so that's going to float around in there and that's why when the elephants came and they took a first sip they didn't want to drink it it's because of that exact reason it's not the cleanest of water What an amazing sighting. And these two just don't stop, they're full of nonsense. See, it looks like they're going to come past us now. I wonder if the game is going to continue. This male's got very interesting tusks. You see how the tusks actually grow away from him? It'll be quite interesting to see him in 30, 40 years time and see how big those tusks have gone and if they've still carried on with that bowing effect that they've got at the moment going outwards. Might be an absolutely beautiful male when he gets a little bit older. And these two are not quite done with the water and the games. Hopefully this elephant doesn't take a trunk full of mud and start spraying it because we are directly in the firing line being behind it. Typical youthful males. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? I love finding elephants in this weather because they become exactly like this. They get lots of energy and they end up playing quite a bit. Sorry, my comms are not very good, so I know Rebecca's talking to me, but I can't hear a word she's saying at this stage. All right, so thank you, Rebecca. Now I can hear you. Um, we're going to go back to... Taylor, who is still busy with her dung, and now that we've seen a few balls coming out into this water, it'll be quite interesting to go and see what's happening with it.